good gang it's ronnie here back into the game with another video you know i'm coming at y'all with the great information how y'all doing <laughs> so as you can see from the title today we're going to be talking about how to lock your locks faster um i feel like this is a highly requested video um everybody who has started locks which are most of y'all who are on my channel want to know how to make them lock faster how to grow them faster what can you do to speed up the process let me preface this by saying locks do what they want to do at their own pace um, you can't really rush it. You really can't rush it. But there are some things that you can do to kind of enhance the process. Hold on, let me move this over. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you cannot rush it, but there are some things that you can do to enhance the process, which is what I come uh, bearing gifts with for you today. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things that you can do to kind of enhance the process. I'm not making any claims that this is going to make your hair lock in a week. On average, hair takes, depending on what texture you have, hair takes about a year to fully lock um, and be mature. Um, so it's very unrealistic to think that in three months that your hair is going to be locked. I know I wasn't really pressing it. I wasn't really tripping about it in the beginning when my hair was locking because um, I didn't even know if I liked the locks. So we're just going to start with the first thing here. Okay, so uh, I know most people, why do I stutter so much? Anyway, I know most people will tell you water is not good in the beginning of your locks. I have even said that in the begin in, in some videos. Um, but there is kind of like a multifaceted effect to that. So washing your hair is good after a certain point. So you want to kind of avoid washing your hair for the first month. And this is so like, this is a high drama in the law community. People will tell you, you need to wash it every two weeks. Some people will tell you, you need to leave it alone for a couple months. I find myself somewhere in the middle of that. But anyway, like I'm saying, you need to kind of avoid washing it in the first month just to let your hair kind of get some tangles first. But after that point, if you are interested in locking your hair faster, your best friend is going to be the water. Now, the reason why I say this is because water helps you to create tangles, right? So locks are literally just tangles. The, this entire head of hair that I have here is one big knot. All right, so what you're trying to do by achieving the locking process faster is essentially to make sure that your hair is as, number one, nappy in a good way as it can be, and number two, as tangled and messy as it can be, because that is what locks thrive off of. Now, the more you wash your hair, especially with shampoo, we all know that once you wash your hair with shampoo, it kind of creates a lot of tangles. The, sh the conditioner is what helps you to get those tangles out. So by washing your hair, once you get those tangles in, you are uh, speeding up that process. So you will do that, but you will avoid the conditioner really, especially conditioner that is not designed for locks. Um, because obviously we know that most conditioner is designed to help you to comb out tangles. And that is the opposite of what we're trying to achieve. Personally, I don't really use conditioner on my locks every now and then. Now that my locks are mature, I use conditioner when I wash them, but I don't even wash my hair that often. Um, but you want to avoid that conditioner. And so if you have starter locks and you feel like they're going to unravel, but you want to speed up the locking process, what you can do is get a stocking cap, which is like kind of like a wig cap, um, or literally stockings and you put it on your head. And what you, what that will do is you're, you are able to wet your hair and wash it through the cap without it unraveling. Cause I know that's most people's concerns is my hair keeps unraveling every time I wash it. So that's also not a big deal because if you have coils, you can just kind of twist your hair back. So it's really not the end of the world. And if you have two strand twists, obviously you can twist it back. Um, but if you're really trying to avoid that, the stocking cap is going to be your best friend, as well as the braid and band method, which is where you take rubber bands and you band it down the locks. That way you can still wash them freely and let them dry in the bands. But once you take those bands off, your hair is not unraveled. Um, so what washing the hair does is it allows the locks to swell. And when they swell, it creates those tangles, which are, again, what we are trying to achieve. So water is going to be your best friend. Um, and I'm going into my next point with that. Rose water was my best friend in the beginning of my lock stage. If you go back to the beginning of my channel when I first started my locks, 
you can see that I used to use the rose water all the time and that was for moisture of course but it also did help my hair to speed up that process because of the tangles it created and especially because i had such soft and fine hair it really helped me to speed that along and i wasn't interested in putting conditioners or spray conditioners in my hair because it was going to cause buildup as well as the fact that it was just going to kind of get rid of the tangles um so the next thing you want to do is leave i tell y'all this all the time y'all are probably so sick of hearing me say this but leave your locks alone leave them be all that extra manipulation all those buns all those uh box braids all that stuff is just hindering your journey locks need to be able to be free i say this so much like i'm honestly sick of hearing myself say this i don't know it's annoying but locks need to be free they need to be free and i literally suffer with this because i'm constantly putting my hair in a bun or pulling it back for work or just doing it because i don't want it in my face but locks really need that space to be able to flourish and swell and move around and just literally them being out in air helps them to lock when they're cooped up under this or in a bonnet all day it doesn't allow them to do what they need to do. Now, mind you, bonnets are really good for your hair. Um, so the next thing I have, when you're moisturizing your locks, you want to remember the only thing, you're not only moisturizing your scalp. It's important that you moisturize down the locks as well. So with the rose water, what I would do is obviously put it on my scalp and put some oil on my scalp, but I would also go down my locks with that moisturizer. And that helps because it prevents the bottoms from breaking um our next thing which i already kind of said but it's already a bullet on here is no creams and no conditioners number one it causes buildup, and number two it helps to take out tangles you do not want to be doing anything that is taking out tangles those tangles are important to your journey because they create budding. The budding creates the locks. Those bumps you see in your locks that you think are ugly, that is what is causing your hair to lock faster. So you want to leave those buds alone. You don't want to try to comb them out. You don't want to use creams and conditioners that are going to help them to become untangled. You kind of want to avoid that stuff. You want to stick to rose water. You want to stick to almond oil. You want to stick to... I am Melanin Magic. You know, I had to get that in there, y'all. Anyway, my code is in the description. It'll also be in the comments. It is... I don't remember. But it will be in the comments and it will be in the description. And it'll get you 20% off. And this is what I use during my lock journey. So anyway, um... Uh, the next thing you want to kind of try not to is retwisting too often. So retwisting is really good for your hair because it kind of helps that it, it aids the process. But retwisting too often can cause break breakage. And depending on who's retwisting your locks, some people like to comb the roots and then retwist the bottoms. And any combing is just not great for the locking process to be sped up. Um... The next thing I have, okay, so I don't really know too much about this, so I won't act like I do, but a lot of people do say that salt water spray helps a lot. I remember in the beginning of my locking process, a lot of people told me to try the salt water spray. I just didn't want to because I wasn't too sure about it. But basically what it is, you'll get a spray bottle with water, salt, I would say uh, Himalayan salt, but whatever salt you want to use. Um water salt and olive oil yeah that's it and you want to kind of spray that in your hair every day but the thing about that is it can cause your scalp to become itchy and dry and if you already have hair that is prone to being dry and hair that is prone i'm out of breath and hair that is prone to being itchy and and you have dandruff that's not going to be a great option for you but what it does is basically you know when you get in the beach and when you get out your hair is really dry and tangled it helps to create those tangles and it helps to create that dryness um and dang how did i get to 10 minutes so like my last thing is rolling your locks every day um like kind of doing something to them obviously not too much manipulation but there is like a point where it's okay like basically you know when you just kind of do this literally you're bored in class do this That like helps to create those tangles, it helps to create that budding, it helps to create those locks. But 
all in all y'all you really can't rush the process it's a process that's got to happen at the time it wants to happen it's got its own timeline it's not much you can do to really mess that up but there are things like i said that you can do to kind of enhance the process you see what i'm saying so the last thing i'm telling you is that you can make your locks lock really fast or you can speed up the process down to three months that's the last thing i'm telling you but i will be the first person to tell you there is always something that you can do um and obviously if you're having those problems with itching and you're having problems with um leaving your hair alone this is going to be a little bit harder for you but as far as the itching like i said the rose water will help tea tree oil will help and there are things you can do um i think i have another video like that on my channel but yeah guys so good luck on your lock journey good luck with getting your locks to lock faster please be patient with yourself please embrace the ugly phase and just you know wait it out thank you guys for watching those are my tips for today and i will see you guys in the next video okay okay bye don't forget to like comment and subscribe and look in the comments for the code to buy i am melana magic which is our brand